Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about a certain category of items that I think is pretty good and that I'm sure you will be able to make some gold pretty easily with. So these items are all the different mount equipment items that Blizzard introduced into the game in Battle for Azeroth. Basically with all these different items you can add some certain like capabilities to your mounts and it can be very helpful in the game. So for instance, you have this one that can help you to increase uh, your mount's ground speed by 20%. You have this one that can allow you to like walk on water. Um, this one that can allow you to get a parachute when you're falling. And this one that can um, avoid being dazed. So all these ones are, as you can see, very useful. And basically, in order to use them, you just want to go there. And you can then directly put it there and it will apply for all your different mounts. You can, of course, only use one at the same time. So as you can imagine, these items are very useful and therefore a lot of people are buying them. And this is why I think you can also make quite a lot of gold by crafting all these different items. So we have four in total. One is from level working. One is from le uh, tailoring one from enchanting and one from blacksmithing. So in total, you will need four different professions in order to craft all the different uh, mount equipments. So as you can see, in order to craft these different mount equipments, you will need a couple of uh, like specific items. So for instance, for this one, you will need one of these mono hardened hoof plates and some of these dredge lever bladder. So this, uh, Monel Arden Hoof Plates, you can craft it with the blacksmithing profession and this is like pretty easy, you just need 50 and you will be able to craft it and if you unlock the third rank, you will really be able to craft it for a very cheap price. Then for the dredge lever bladder, you just want to have 10 of these dredge lever and uh, 5 of these nylon thread. And the dredge lever is very easy to get, you can just go uh, in Nashtar, and you can get a lot, or in Uldum as well. So very easy to get. For this one, the tailoring um, mount equipment, you need some of these dredge lever as well, and then all these like random drops from Battle for Azeroth that are really worth nothing. After that, for the comfortable riders boarding here, this is the only exception that we have, because this one can be crafted with the BFA profession, but also with the Shadowlands profession. So you can also use just two Kados Eyes, five Lily Silk, and the Pendant Wrath, right? So this is why this one is a little bit cheaper because it's just so cheap to craft this item. And then for the Life Step Hoof Plates, you will also need one of these Monel Hardened Hoof Plates, and then just the normal enchanting materials from Battle for Azeroth. So overall, really, it's not very difficult to craft, and really the, the material are pretty cheap. So when it comes to the value um, on European realms for the inflatable mount shoes, it's going to be between 10,000 and 22,000, and on US realms between 10,000 and 33,000 gold. Then for the saddle shoot, it's going to be 4,800 to 36,000 gold on European realms and 5,000 to 17,000 gold on US realms. For the comfortable riders boarding, as I explained, it's the cheapest one because it's very easy to craft with the Shadowlands profession. Uh, you're going to be able to sell it for 420 to 1500 on European realms and 375 to 672 on US realms. And then for the life step hoof plates, you will be able to sell it for 4600 to 6300 and 5000 to 29000 gold on US realms. When it comes to the different set rates for the comfortable riders burning, it's going to be 1 on 90. So extremely good. And it's because it's extremely uh, cheap. Then for the saddle shoot, it's going to be 0 0.16. For the life staff who plates, it's going to be 0 0.72. And for the inflatable mount shoes, it's going to be 0 0.30. So in order to craft these different items, uh, there are two main requirements. Of course, the first one is going to be to upgrade the different uh, professions. So for most of them, it's really not going to be difficult, especially uh, tailoring is not really difficult. And blacksmithing just requires a little bit of gold to invest, or you can also go mine uh, your own ore. 
but the two of them are really not uh, too challenging. Same with level working. And again, level working, I would just encourage you to use the Shadowlands profession because like that, you are able to craft these different uh, items for less than 100 gold. So really, really worth it. And then for enchanting, so for enchanting, it will take a little bit more time maybe and just a little bit more uh, gold. So I did it on this character just earlier. It took me um, like around 25 minutes to upgrade from 0 to 155, which is the level you need to reach in order to craft the recipe. And uh, what I would really recommend you to do is to use these different uh, like like uh, enchanting volume that you can then use in order to like actually create the different enchants and like that you can easily uh, upgrade and create some of the enchants that can be also sold for quite a lot of gold as you can see all these enchants have like really good set rates and some of them can be sold for more than 2000 gold so that could be a really good way again the best ones being the enchant weapon deadly navigation the gale force uh, striking the accord of mastery the accord versatility uh, the siphoning, the Accord of Haste, uh, and then, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Also, very easy is the different, um, the wrist enchantments are pretty good, and of course, the disenchantments. So, until I think 125, you can use this one, the Veiled Shatter, and you can also use the Umbra Shatter until 100. So, really, these two are the easiest, and like that, you will be able for it to reach 155 very, very easily. So the second requirement, which is the most annoying, is that for almost all these different recipes, you will need to have access to Najatar because the different trainers that can teach you how to craft these different mount equipments are in Najatar. The only exception, and I have no idea why, is for the uh, enchanting um, item that you can actually learn from the trainer in Boros. So the life step of plates, you can actually uh, directly learn it here. And unfortunately, you cannot do that for Horde. So it's only for Alliance. On Horde, there is nothing like that in Darar Zalor. So I don't know why, but uh, all the rest is going to be in Najatar. Of course, also the other exception is uh, for the lever working one that you can craft with the Shadowlands profession. So in order to access Najatar, if you're playing on one of your reroll, this is the only part that is really going to be annoying because you need to accomplish a couple of things before you will be able to access Najatar. So as you can see here, it's uh, explained. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is uh, hit level 50. Uh, after that, you want to, for Alliance players, become friendly with the Storm's Wake, Pranmore, Admiralty, and Order of the Embers, and for Horde, you need to be friendly with Voldenai, Zendalari Empire, and Talajani's Expedition. And after that, you will get one quest, and after that, you have access to Najatar. So really, the the most annoying and time-consuming part is going to be like to become friendly with these different reputations. It doesn't take too long. Uh, literally, you can do the like world quest and the different expeditions and normally you will be able to get uh, friendly with these different reputations in a few days. It's just that I understand that sometimes it uh, can be a little bit uh, <laughs> annoying to farm reputations and everything just to unlock one portal and then learn a couple of recipes. But unfortunately, this is the main requirement in order to unlock the different recipes. So yeah, that's uh, going to be pretty much it. Really, in my opinion, this is not too difficult to craft. Um, really, if you're playing, especially on a high pop realm, you can find all the different materials on the auction house. Um, so you can look, level up your different professions pretty easily. And then for Najatar, hopefully you're playing on characters that have already unlocked Najatar. And otherwise, you can just do it very quickly. Um, so that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I really encourage you again to try to craft a couple of them. I think they are definitely worth posting on the auction house. And yeah, so I will be back very soon with uh, more videos, with more guides. And in the meantime, I wish you a great week. Bye.